Hello and welcome to week two to four. Um, I hope you're feeling good. You should be kind of getting to the point where you're pain free maybe, getting out for little walks, feeling stronger. You may still be absolutely exhausted from lack of sleep. Um, and I hope you're still prioritizing getting those little naps in and um, getting that half hour hour to lie down in the middle of the day just to kind of protect your pelvic organs and kind of counter effect and um, get the counter effect of gravity so you're letting everything settle. Um, if you do have symptoms of pressure or you do have leakage or soreness, look, it's still early days. You're starting to increase your pelvic floor exercises, getting more seconds count into them. And we're going to put a bit more emphasis um, on endurance and power in those pelvic floor squeezes. If you are having issues and you're concerned, um, have a chat with your physio or have a chat with your doctor. But really, in the first zero to six weeks, when everything is happening, most of the time the advice will be look wait and see wait and see keep doing your exercises mind yourself um unless you're really really worried um or if you're you know you're having oozing or you're having discharge or you're having really strong pain that keeps you up at night if you have temperature or you're having sweats anything like that of course go to your doctor or your gp so let's lie down and we're going to continue from where we dropped off the last day but we're going to add a small little bit more so I suppose this video really is for people who want to progress, that at six weeks you're ready to hit the ground running and um, you might be feeling really good and be kind of saying to yourself, why do I have to wait to six weeks to get back um, to my activity? But the guidelines all say that first six weeks, there's so much happening. We need to take it easy. Um, but having said that, you're also lifting a growing baby. You may have toddlers at home, lifting buggies, car seats. So it's kind of remiss of us to say that you're not exercising because actually you're doing a lot. So let's start with our pelvic tilting. Roll back, lift your tailbone and roll forwards. Roll all the way back and roll forwards. Roll all the way back and forth. So just that really nice movement. If anyone finds that this is sore, this is your exercise, just doing that normal, gentle movement. And if it's sore to do this movement, even a few weeks later, make sure you're using hot water bottles to soften out the muscles um, and make sure you are factoring a rest that you're not doing too much around the house or around exercise. So let's come into your halfway position and let's get into our breathing. So breathe in, feel your tummy rise and breathe out, feel your tummy fall. Breathe in, feel your tummy rise and breathe out. So making sure that tummy is like a balloon. As you breathe in, you're, it's filling with air as your chest moves downwards and breathe out. Bring your attention to pelvic floor. Make sure it's nice and relaxed. That's it. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So we're going to bring in our pelvic floor exercises. So nice breath in and gentle breath out. So when I'm looking at you breathing, I should know if you're doing your pelvic floor exercises or not. Okay, so the breath out stays the same. So often in my clinic, if I say to someone, you know, breathe in and out, nice and relaxed, um, everything is very nice. But once I say squeeze the pelvic floor, you get this big freeze and sometimes the pressure downwards and the pelvic floor is kind of like, how the hell am I going to work against that? So make sure as you breathe in and out, it's exact same. When your pelvic floor kicks in, it becomes the boss. It pulls upwards. Okay, so breathe in. And breathe out, pull up through your back passage and your front passage and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, release. So for me, when I have people in my clinic, I'm not too worried about the 10 second hold at the beginning. What I want is a good quality squeeze that leads to the feeling of a release. So you pull up your pelvic floor and you release it. So if you only squeeze for three seconds, but you can feel a release after that three seconds, that's more valuable than pulling up for 10 seconds. And by the time you get to 10 seconds, not really knowing if you're released or not, because it may have faded away from five seconds on. So find that kind of magic second point um, that you can release the pelvic floor from. Okay, so let's breathe in and breathe. Pull up really strong and hard and hold. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it release. And when you release it for, um, when you release it, hold that release for 10 seconds. So let it fully release. And even after three or four seconds, if you think, oh gosh, it's fully released, just talk to your brain. Say to your brain, no, no, more, more, more. I want to release out through your back passage. I want to release back the front passage. Breathe in and breathe out. Pull up really strong and hard. And I'm going to hold for 10. You might have gotten six, seven, whatever you want to stop at, release. And go for six, five, four, three, two, one, release out through your back passage. Well done. And soften out through your shoulders. Let those collarbones lengthen across the mat. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Pull up really strong and hard for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it go. 
That's it. And just bring your heels and knees together. Take a little breather. Roll to the side. Let those hips lift right up. So you're stretching between the ribs and the pelvis. Come over to the other side. A good stretch along the side. Come back to the center. Breathe in and breathe out. Pull up really strong and hard. So pull, 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 pull. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and release your pelvic floor. So the research says it can take three to six months of really dedicated pelvic floor exercises to feel a change in your pelvic floor. So these are the times to start, particularly when you're not exercising at high intensity. Breathe in and breathe out. Pull up really strong and hard for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let the whole lot release out. That's really nice. So we're relaxing out through your back passage and your front passage. Lovely stuff. So still really early days in terms of pelvic floor recovery. So if you're feeling that you have poor control over wind, or you're having pain, or you're finding that you have achiness or pressure in your pelvic floor, yes, rest the pelvic floor as much as you can, but don't worry about it. Okay, you still got plenty of time to recover. Breathe in and breathe out, pulling up through your back passage and your front passage and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release out your pelvic floor. Well done. And have a nice little couple of seconds to yourself. Before we go again, breathe in and breathe out. Pull up through your back passage and front passage and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Lovely. So we're going to bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Okay, so we're going to bring in pelvic floor. So we use pelvic floor to activate the core. And that's what you do in every single Pilates class or core strengthening exercise class you ever do is switch on the pelvic floor. It switch on your deep tummy muscles and then you add whatever load. So today we're going to bring in a little bit of work just to the ribs. So again, we talked about the last day. Um, just the ribs, um, the diaphragm become tight during pregnancy. Also, your rib muscles, can, your ribs, sorry, can lift up a little bit um, as you change your posture during pregnancy. So making sure that you just draw your ribs in towards your spine, arms up towards the ceiling, take a breath in, and on the breath out, switch on your pelvic floor. So keep them switched on. Don't let the ribs lift, drop your arms back overhead. That's it. Breathe in as you semicircle back to the center and breathe out, keep the pelvic floor switched on. So we're keeping it switched on and breathe out. Breathe in, come back to the center, reinforce that pelvic floor, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Don't worry if the pelvic floor doesn't hold it as long, just try to reinforce it on the breath out and it can have a little break as you breathe in. So breathe out, breathe in, bring your hands around your knees, Hug them up towards your chest. Get a nice stretch through your lower back. Breathe in and out. And breathe in and out. Bring down one knee. Bring down the other knee. Hands by your side. Breathe in. And on the breath out, switch on your pelvic floor. We're going to roll back. So we're bringing different movements into our pelvic floor squeeze. So keep that squeeze. And so it's kind of like the equivalent of your 10 seconds, but we're rolling up. We're going to hold it there. And then we're going to slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. Breathe in. Breathe out. Switch on the pelvic floor for one, two, Three, four, five, six, lower down, seven, eight, nine, ten, let it go. Brilliant. So your pelvic floor is a dynamic, well, it works with dynamic movement. So later on, you'll be obviously using your stronger pelvic floor if you're walking, you're jogging, your classes, whatever you're going back to. Breathe in, breathe out, switch on the pelvic floor, roll back, lifting up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and release it all out, breathe in and breathe out, switch it on, roll back, two, three, four, five, six, come down, seven, eight, and nine, and ten, come into your halfway position, roll forwards, roll back, come into halfway, breathe in, and breathe out, activate your core, so from now on, activate the core, means switch on the pelvic floor, we're just going to slide away one leg, and come back to the centre, breathe in, Breathe out, slide away, hold there, breathe in. And on the breath out, come back to the center, breathe in. And breathe out, slide away your leg, breathe in. And breathe out, come back to the center, breathe in. And breathe out, hold it there. And breathe out, come back 
to the center. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do a few fast pelvic floor exercises, okay? Just to kind of get the ball rolling, get those nerve fibers stimulated. We have the slow fibers, fast twitch fibers. We want to make sure that we're targeting everything the pelvic floor has to offer us. So when a fast knees comes along or when you have to hop up onto a curb or hop out of the car, that your pelvic floor has that reactive um, nature to it. So with this one, a bit more complicated, so don't worry if it doesn't come today or it doesn't come for the next few weeks. We're just squeezing and releasing. We're not using the breath to control that movement. So all we're going to do is hands on the tummy, very relaxed through the shoulders. We're just going to pull up through the pelvic floor for one, two, and we're going to let it go for one, two, three. Pull up, one, two, release, one, two, three. Pull up, one, two, release, one, two, three. Pull up, one, two, release, one, two, three. Pull up, one, two and release, one, two, three, pull up, one, two, release, one, two, three, two more, pull up, one, two, release, one, two, three, pull up, one, two and release, one, two, three, lovely, we're going to turn over onto the side, hands reaching forwards, I'll never leave out this stretch, it's a brilliant stretch, breathe in and on the breath out, opening out through your chest, bring your arm right back, hold there for breath in and on the breath out, come back to the center, breathe in and breathe out, reach all the way back, opening out through your chest, hold it there and come back to the center, breathe in and breathe out, lift all the way over your shoulder, breathe in and out, come back to the center, bring your hand onto your pelvis, ankles, shoulders and hips in line and let's go with our clamp. So making sure that there's no movement at the pelvis, lifting and lowering. Keeping your belly button gently drawn in. That's it. And make sure you're breathing. Go for five, four, three, two, and one. Give your muscles a nice little thump. And let's go again. And go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give your muscles a nice little thump. And let's go again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give your muscles a nice little thump. And we're just gonna slide out the legs so your hips are nice and forwards. All you can see when you look down at your toes and the front of your foot just poking through. We're gonna bring your hand onto your pelvis or in front for a bit of balance. Just lift and lower that top leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down, give your muscles a nice little thump and just come up again, minding those tummy muscles. We're just gonna switch over to the other side and knees bent, hands together in front, breathe in and on the breath out, lift up and reach back. Lovely, hold it there for breath in and out. Breathe in again and breathe out, come back to the center, breathe in again. And breathe out, lift up, stretch all the way back, making sure you're getting that shoulder right back behind you and you're rotating through the ribs, through your thoracic spine. Come back to the center and breathe in again. And breathe out, reach all the way back, open out your chest and come back to the center. Lovely, hand onto your pelvis and let's go. We're doing three sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, give your muscles a nice little thump and let's go again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give the muscles a nice little thump. So great wake up call for these rotators and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, give your muscles a nice little thump, stride out the legs, nice and straight, hand on the mat in front and lift and lower for eight, seven. And just feeling that release through the groin muscles. Sometimes these muscles can be very tight, particularly if you had pelvic girdle pain during the pregnancy or if you had a tough delivery. And go for three, two, and one, and bring down the leg, give your muscles a nice little thump and we're going to turn over onto your tummy. So hopefully you're happy lying in your tummy. Rest your head onto your hands. We're just going to shrug the shoulders up towards your ears and glide them down nice and low. So these muscles get very tight. The trapezius, these neck muscles from feeding and lifting and all the chores you're doing. So really important that the tightness doesn't get the better of you. and You don't end up with neck pain. So making sure you spend a little bit of time every day shrugging your shoulders up and gliding 
downwards, up and down, all the way up and lower your shoulder blades towards your waist. So just imagine you have a little tennis ball between your shoulder blades, keeping that nice and low, keeping your chin tucked in, eyes facing down, breathe in and on the breath out, just float your head an inch or two up off your hands. So get that nice lengthening through your neck. Hold two, three, and lower down. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift two, three, and lower down. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift two, three, and lower down. Breathe in. And on the breath out, we're just gonna activate the core. So switching on your pelvic floor and just lift up one leg. One, two, three, and lower down. Breathe in and breathe out, lift the other leg. Two, three, and lower down, breathe in. And breathe out, lift two, three, and lower down, breathe in. And breathe out, lift two, three, and lower down, breathe in. And breathe out, lift two, three, and lower down, breathe in. And breathe out, lift two, three, and lower down. Bring your hands under your shoulders, up onto all fours, pelvic tilt, so round your back, and arch round all the way up tucking in your belly button and arch and again round all the way up and arch come into your half way position breathe in and on the breath out pulling up through your back passage and your front passage again that little bit of tension through your lower tummy muscles and hold for five four three two one and release really good breathe in and breathe out, pulling up through back passage and front passage for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bring your right hand in behind your left elbow. Get a good stretch through. Slide out your opposite leg, lift up and out. And let's go again. Reach in behind your elbow. Then slide out the opposite leg, lift up and out. Perfect, switch to the other side. Arm in behind the elbow, push through. Then slide up and out right out through the chest and go again reach in behind your elbow and slide out the opposite leg lift up and out perfect back to all fours pelvic tilt that's it all the way up and down okay we're just going to come up onto our heels so sitting on the heels so of course you're two to four weeks postnatal it's still such early days you'll still have low key so that bleeding will still be there it might be starting to lighten off or change color getting brown or everybody's different and um, make sure that with exercise you always feel good so any changes in that flow after exercise you may have done without thinking about it a little bit too much make sure you're hydrated make sure you're sleeping we're just going to add one more exercise your elbows are together and your hands pointing up towards the ceiling so maybe i'll come to the side for this keep your elbows at shoulder height breathe in and on the breath i push up through your elbows so just working those muscles between the shoulder blades really good for posture and come down so breathe in and breathe out push up breathe in come down and breathe out pushing up so keeping the elbows together making sure they don't drift it's an easy exercise if you're just lifting and lowering but if you keep those elbows together i know for me find a big stretch between the shoulder blades lift 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 and lower two more push up 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 and lower and one more push up and lower drop one arm down side bend up and over and switch to the other side. Perfect, bring your hands onto your tummy. We're gonna pelvic tilt, so just slouching down and then arching up, lengthening out through your collarbones, rounding your shoulders, slouching down, coming up through the lower back, pulling up nice and strong, bring your arms wide, rotate to the side, come back through the center and over to the other side and come back through the center and that is it for your exercise program so try to do this twice three times a week and um, as often as you can once you're feeling good and i'll see you back here for week four to six before you go for your six week checkup um, and before you kind of get that go ahead to get back to normal exercise thanks a million